I shouldn't have been surprised by this headline the other day, and I really wasn't, but what I was surprised by was the responses. On October 13, Nintendo Life released an article about how the definitive version of Super Mario 64 is the one included with the 3D All-Stars collection. And as anyone can tell you, this is blatantly not true. In case you weren't aware, the version of Mario 64 included with 3D All-Stars is basically just an upscaled port of the original N64 game. Meanwhile, you can run this game with mods on PC with ease, and there's even an extremely impressive fan remake on PC. As is the case with many Nintendo games, the official release is not actually the best way to play it, but Nintendo Life really wants you to think otherwise. And not surprisingly, there's a lot of people willing to go for the bait on this. Funky Studios says, Look, it's fun to see an official upscaled version of Mario 64, but the PC probably is where you'd find the true definitive version. YT Sir Black says, There are people who only enjoy Mario games on an actual console rather than that monstrosity called PC. Yes, the monstrosity, because when you can't fight someone's argument, it's easier just to throw insults at it. I understand that computers are still really scary to some people in 2021, but there's still time for you to pull your head out of your ass and join us in the real world. Emulation performance can surpass the consoles easily sometimes, great example is Simu, and people have made a trillion ways to use the OEM controllers on different platforms, including PCs. PC is gonna be worth the effort, but 3DAS is the next best. Ew. Ew, 4K at 120fps is gross, right? I'd rather blah, 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 blah. Enjoy inferior ports of games and being stuck on $900 computers that frequently need updates just to run anything. I love the inferior ports argument. The people who say stuff like this will never actually give you examples, by the way, because there really aren't that many nowadays. Yes, I know less than stellar PC versions of games still come out, but even bad PC ports will often run better than the console counterpart. And that's assuming the port doesn't get patched up and then it's just flat out better, like what happened with Arkham Knight, MKX, Nier, Cyberpunk, so on and so forth. But what is this $900 thing? and constant updates and being stuck. First of all, one of the best parts of the PC is that we don't have to spend a ton of money on it if we don't want to, and we are not stuck with the hardware we have. If you want to change hardware, you can do that whenever you want. It's just funny to me how you say the PC is a platform where you're stuck on hardware, and that's literally what the consoles are. And then the whole constant updates thing is just dumb. Consoles are updated frequently as well today. It's 2021. If you don't like waiting for updates, you just shouldn't play video games at all. How in the world can you, as a Nintendo fan, say any other system will have inferior ports? Why the fuck would I play Arkham Knight a year later on PC? Yeah, I have no idea what he's talking about anymore. Arkham Knight launched on PC at the same time as the console versions, and yeah, it was virtually unplayable, but after it was patched up, it was objectively the best version of the game. And that fix didn't take anywhere close to a year. The game launched in June of 2015, the PC version was removed from sale, and then it was re-released in October. So four months. And I know I'm kind of glossing over this story, but that's because I can't believe people are still using it as evidence against the PC all these years later. It should be common knowledge at this point. If you can't come up with relevant examples for your argument, you probably shouldn't make the argument. Is this an actual mindset Nintendo stands have about gaming? I thought this whole thing was a joke. People are really that stupid. Lol, Nintendo stands just because you like shitty restrictions doesn't make everyone a stand? PC is so shitty that I can barely play Arkham Knight or Mortal Kombat 9, why the fuck would I play either of those games on a PC anyway, let alone the fact that you have to do all kinds of crazy bullshit just to get a 10 year old game to run on it, fuck. First of all, you used the wrong knight here, there's a K. Second of all, MK9 has a 90% approval rating on Steam, so I'm not sure why that was brought up at all. Third of all, if you want to play decade old games like you say you do, good luck playing any of them on a Nintendo hardware. The Switch isn't exactly friendly to backwards compatibility. Meanwhile, the PC can play virtually any game on any console from any time period. The PC one is better. Tell me one single official Mario game that has been released on PC. Mario's 90s PC games don't count. Wait, so the Mario games released on PC don't count as Mario games released on PC. That's... What? The Mario games that releases on PC don't count as PC releases, bruh. Mario teaches typing is not a mainline Mario game, my guy. Well, I, look, I agree that Mario teaches typing isn't exactly a core Mario game, but you Nintendo stands really need to figure out how to present your arguments. Like, I would never say Mario teaches typing is a good example of a Mario game, but when you guys word your arguments like, name one example of this, except not the examples of this, you, like, you just make yourself look fucking stupid. You guys are terrified of the PC and it's hilarious. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe? Also, Super Mario Bros. Special doesn't count, too. Again, name me an example of the thing, except you can't actually use the example of the thing. There were a million ways you could have worded this better, and you just didn't for some reason. You can just emulate it on PC with widescreen for free. Free can be a good deal, but for quality content, you have to use money. Um, actually, in this situation, no. 
I mean, in a lot of situations, no, but especially not here. He just said he can emulate the game with better display options for free, but you're saying for better quality he needs to pay for the inferior version of the game. This is what I mean when I say Nintendo fans are terrified of the PC, you're not even making coherent statements. No, the 3D All-Stars is the worst version I've played, next to the washed out Wii U version. Gonna cry that you can't skip most of the game. I've been playing M64 my whole life across all versions, the only way I get enjoyment now is speedrunning, I don't get why you are so instantly hostile when someone doesn't hold the same opinion as you. The only way I like the game is if I skip most of it and play the wrong way, you just don't like the game then. Look, I don't follow any speedrunners really, and speedrunning never really was my thing, aside from a brief time in high school where I would speedrun Sonic 1 and 2 on my laptop during class. But if you're someone who thinks speedrunners aren't real gamers or they don't enjoy the game, you need to shut the fuck up forever. Have you ever considered that speedrunners just become speedrunners because they love the game? I know the layout of Resident Evil 4 pretty much by heart because of how many times I've beaten it, and yes, I get a kick out of playing through it as fast as possible. Speedrunning is just taking that concept to the next level. And yes, certain versions of the game are better for speedrunning than others, because certain versions of the game are programmed like shit, so they hinder your performance when you try to play it a certain way. It just pisses me off when people say speedrunners are playing the game wrong, because by that logic, anytime you do something the devs didn't literally put in there on purpose, you're playing the game wrong. Wave dashing in Super Smash Bros. Melee? Wrong. Reload canceling in COD? Wrong. Wall bouncing in Apex Legends? Wrong. Playing Dark Souls with a Guitar Hero controller? Wrong. The game is meant to be played. Yes, the developers have their own ideas in mind of how the game is best enjoyed, but who are they to determine what's fun? I'm all for creative vision and preserving the developer's intentions, but if something like a movement exploit or an alternate control scheme is in a video game and people have fun taking advantage of it, who are you to say they're wrong? And I'm sorry for going off on a tangent like this, it just drives me insane when people say you're playing a game wrong because you're not playing it exactly how the developers envisioned. I used to be a competitive melee player, so I've heard shit like this a lot and it still drives me insane. Anyways, I think the PC version might like a word. The unofficial PC version? And it has a gun. <laughs> oh yeah, there's actually a first person shooter version of Super Mario 64. I kinda really wanna play it. Look, the best options for playing Super Mario 64 are undeniably on PC. Be it because you're playing vanilla on an emulator, or modded, or the fan remake, or the FPS remake, it doesn't matter. Nintendo hasn't had a superior version of their own game in a really long time. And the sooner we accept that, the sooner we can just go back to having fun playing games. Nintendo makes some great games, they're just kinda shit on the technical side. So why not let the fans make it better? There's no reason not to. Toodles.